At the age of 16, Nicola Benedetti won the BBC Young Musician of the Year, launching her career as one of the UK's most popular violinists. She previously spent five years studying at the prestigious Yehudi Menuhin School. Nicola has now released a number of best-selling albums and has played for the Queen, as well as at the opening of the Scottish Parliament. I don't ever feel that I missed out on anything in my childhood. I don't ever have a memory of feeling very different from everyone around me. Um, and I'm, I'm sure I would have noticed that if it had been the case. But I think actually the, the main thing for me was my family and just how unpressurised the fact that my sister and I played the violin was. It was... Um, it was like a great thing that we did and that we did it well and my mum would always encourage us to work very hard and be serious about it but because they're not musicians at all and no one in my family are musicians they there was no kind of pressure of of maybe they'll become you know the 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 star violinist or anything there was just no understanding of that world whatsoever I do tend to practice or want to practice every day. I mean, it's quite rare for me if I have four days when I don't play at all or a week when I don't play at all. Um, that usually comes like at the end of a, I don't know, a four month period of just constantly practicing and performing and traveling all at once. I am definitely one of those violinists that I, I couldn't just go up and play without any practice. Um, I mean, I've done it a few times when I've been ill and I can, but I'm not comfortable with it. On top of that, I think the most exciting part is the developing part to me. Um, it's just as enjoyable and just as fulfilling and as much part of me feeling fulfilled. I don't think anyone with enough practice can reach the level of a, um, of a great you know, instrumentalist. I don't think it's something that is purely work um, and you definitely have to be born with a musical instinct, a desire to want to kind of share what you do, a certain sensibility for music, for intonation, the right kind of hearing, just rhythm you have to have a kind of natural instinct for. But I've got to say, talent is really only a very small part of, of then actually being able to fulfill um, the dreams of becoming, you know, a, a really good um, instrumentalist because so, I mean, 80% of it is just the work that you put in. Sometimes when I'm speaking to my friends, other friends that are also musicians, and we'll all come together and we'll kind of say, you know, the stress that we go through before performances, the nerves, the worry, the, uh, the kind of responsibility to the audience, to the recordings, to all these, you know, all these things. Um, so sometimes we'll all just kind of agree that is it really worth it? You know, is it really worth all of that? But at the end of the day, the answer is always yes, of course it's worth it. And none of us would choose to do anything else. We're so happy doing what we're doing. But, you know, there should be no illusions that it's just a walk in the park and that, you know, after you've done your practice by the age of 18, you just kind of get on with it. It's a constant struggle and constantly readjusting things and reworking things. And, well, for me, anyway, I can only speak for myself. Sometimes when I'm practicing, I'll do things like uh, something will not be going my way. And I'll actually just put down the violin and I'll kind of be standing there thinking, right, what am I going to do now? And I'll just make myself pick it back up again immediately 
and just try again, try something again, try something different. You know, and I think um, you either have that will or you don't. Sometimes I have actually played in the orchestra while I, in the second half of doing a solo performance, um, which I've just found great fun. I've absolutely loved it, and quite often I'm very envious of the repertoire that they all get to play, but I guess this is what I'm made to do, so it's what I do. <laughs> The feeling of playing with orchestra is one, quite scary, um, two, there's a definite feeling of kind of you having to step into your role. You've got to consider there's 20 violinists right next to you, so it's different for a pianist or a wind player. Or, um, whoever, you know, it's very different from them because we're all kind of doing the same thing, except we're not. But I've grown to just love the experience so much. I mean, you're practicing your part on your own so much of the time. And then you play it with piano and you're looking at the score and you're imagining all the parts in your head and obviously you've heard recordings, but there's nothing like the feeling of playing your part in the orchestra and coming out of their sound. The Sibelius Concerto, which we just performed, is definitely one of the most amazing experiences as a, as a soloist. The kind of strength of the orchestral part is is um, so enormous and, and, and plays just as important a role as you do. And I think that's when it becomes really interesting, the concertos that, that really give the orchestra their say as well, because then you really feel like you're part of a bigger experience. Mm -hmm.